To share a DGT board presentation or game with a live audience, just use a handy little program provided by DGT. What you see here on the screen is Rabbit Connect. This is the tester program. Shows where the pieces are on the board. Right now I have it plugged in and ready to play. We don't need Rabbit Connect right now, but it does show the chessboard is in good working condition. And let's proceed to locate the software for live chess. On the DGT project site, go to support DGT software and then the uh, DGT live chess. Locate DGT live chess 1.4.2. Click that. Save the file. Now that it has downloaded in the upper right corner of Firefox, I will click here. I downloaded it once before. I'm going to open that zipped folder up, extract all these files to the desktop by clicking here, desktop. By the way, this is Windows 8. Make a new folder called Live Chess. You can make it whatever you want and extract all these files. This does require Java 1.6 or 7 as the documentation on the DGT site shows. We have the extracted files here in the Live Chess folder on the desktop. Looking at the DGT site, you can see this version works with Java 1.6 and 7. I don't have that running on this system, so I have just downloaded that as well. And here's the file. I obtained it from java.com, found it for the 64-bit operating system and I'm ready to install it, which we'll do now. Now that it's installed, I can open up this file and allow access to the Java. And uh, let's start to locate our chessboard. First, I'm going to close the Rabbit Connect program, which we won't need right now. Then let's look at the serial ports that are, uh, it calls them serial ports, but essentially it's plugged in via USB on this Core i7. IdeaPad laptop. And here we have a COM3 shown. Again, it is USB, even though it says that. If you enable it, wait for a second. Come over to COM3, scan. Actually, I just turned the chessboard off and back on. I'm going to enable this. Here we have the DGT board showing the type. Okay, I've had a little trouble connecting this in live chess, so I opened Rabbit Connect and checked out the battery life. It's up to 14% right now. We're just going to let that sit a while longer and make sure we have more power in the board. While waiting for a sufficient charge, let's look at how to set up an event.
we'll add one round here. Obviously, we need another player, so let's add the audience. And the result will be determined by the game itself, of course. Okay, I have connected a second DGT USB board, which it has identified rather quickly when enabled here. There's one board. The board ID, take note of, is 13631. Now you'll recall we set all this up, open the event name, set up the eboard, and set this as, let's say, board number one, and type the board ID 13631. Add that. That's ready to go. So now we have the ability to start a round. This little sign means clock not present, so we can just ignore that, and it shows green. Here is the uh, chessboard ready to go. There you can see move one. You're probably wondering about this presentation software. Well, that's where this comes in handy, the live chess viewer. Here's one of the active boards. We'll make it visible. We'll show the board. And if you want it full screen, just hit the space bar. And there is your chessboard for presentation. Hit the spacebar again if you would like to close this window. And there you have it. When the game is complete, you can record the results in this event right here. You can say the game is finished, completed, and the result is Magnus, of course, wins. If you need to make any changes, you can look through the game right here. And uh, there's more features, but that's the, uh, the primary use of it. And this, as you can see, it could be very useful for displaying a live game.